Hello everyone. Oh, truck culture. A weird subculture of the American people. Now, I don't know how prevalent it is outside of the southern states, but sadly, I know it is quite the ordeal inside of them. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the idea, basically, people in the south who drive trucks tend to believe they are superior to those who drive cars. Likely stemming from an insecurity about a certain, um, extremity, these people often believe that driving a truck makes you more of a man. And if you thought it ended there, you would be sadly mistaken. You see, not only do they think that their trucks are superior to cars, they think that their truck brand is superior to the rest. This has led to a civil war in the truck community, with each and every brand loyalist trying to prove that their truck is the best. Now, to help you fully understand the severity of this situation, I'm going to show you some clips captured on the battlefield of this war. I advise that if you have a weak stomach, you look away now. Yeah, you know, I think I would really like to buy this truck. Um, excuse me, I think my daddy would like to buy me this truck. Truly brilliant words by these brilliant men. I think fit up my ass. And just like World War II, this war is also utilizing the benefits of mass production. But instead of producing guns and ammunition, they're producing a much, much more deadly means of battle. That's right, folks. They're producing... Bad memes. And when I say mass producing, I mean like stamp, 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 stamp. Because they literally have one joke, and it's this. Truck bad. It break down. And that's it. It's literally it. Nothing clever, nothing unique. It's just ha ha, truck breakdown. You have to push home. Ha ha ha. But the war goes beyond that. Past brand loyalty. You must pick a side based off how and where you drive your truck. The two dominating sides being the mutters, and the pavement princesses. Now what is a pavement princess you may ask? A pavement princess is a person who is looked down upon in the truck community because they want to keep their truck clean, dent and scratch free, and they mainly use it for transportation. They only drive it on roads, I mean- Wait. Hold on. Isn't that the point of a vehicle? Now look, if you're not from the south, this isn't gonna make much sense, and it doesn't even make sense if you live in the south, we're just used to it. But people who go mudding are very very proud of the fact that they go mudding. Like so proud that some people's main personality trait is that they go mudding. Like the next time you see a mudding video somewhere, whether it's on TikTok or YouTube or whatever, go to the comments and see how many say something like this. If you're not from the country, you just won't understand. Like I want to know what these people think we don't understand. Do they think people that have never gone mudding are watching these videos like, like oh my god, did you see that? Guys. <laughs> How does he do it? <laughs> he drove through a puddle. Guys, he drove through a- Like, no, Tucker. We get it. You're easily entertained. But you know what? Maybe they are right, because I will never understand what is so enticing about spending your day driving through puddles. And what boggles my mind even further is this is not a purely individualistic pastime. There are whole events dedicated to this where you have to go pay real money. Yeah. Actual dollars to watch this. I don't think I can think of anything more boring and more of a waste of time than going to watch somebody get their four-wheeler stuck in a mud puddle. But while we're on the topic of people who are easily entertained, let me introduce you to another population of the truck community. A population so dim-witted that they are literally entertained by watching smoke. Yes. I'm talking about the coal rollers. Now if you don't know what rolling coal is, basically it is a practice that involves modifying a diesel engine in order for the exhaust to release more smoke. This is what that looks like. <laughs> your sister, you might be thinking, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no way this is real. There's no way people find this fun. And I wish I could tell you that your thought was correct, but it could not be more wrong. There is a very large amount of people who go out of their way to make their trucks do this. Some have even made songs about it. To honor America, please rise for our national anthem. That truck is a real loud diesel Black smoke, they call me Redneck Hero Smokestacks don't know how to act neither But don't question, no, I'll make you a believer I'm in a jacked up truck and it's really loud 
out, black smoke rolling, cold through town. My foot on the gas ain't slowing. Now, some of them are just brainless hicks who think the smoke makes them look cool. But another aspect of rolling coal is to promote anti-environmentalism. You know, to really own those liberals and show how much you don't care about climate change because you can't actually understand science. But I've never really understood it because many of these hillbillies' livelihoods rely on things like agriculture and livestock. And by using rolling coal as a form of anti-environmentalism, they have to realize at least on some level that rolling coal affects the earth negatively. And when the earth isn't healthy, neither are your crops or your animals. So in reality, these idiots are probably hurting themselves more than anybody else. But you know, I wouldn't really expect anybody who rolls coal to be capable of any sort of deep thought, so I'm not really surprised they haven't figured this out. Excuse me? Well, I think that's probably enough ranting for today. Besides, I'm pretty sure I've lost some brain cells trying to make sense of all this stuff, so you know, I don't want to prolong that. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really does help my channel grow. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Just a friendly reminder to subscribe to August the Duck. And if you want to be extra swaggy, hit that bell to be notified about every upcoming video. Please subscribe. His family is starving.